restart our program. <coughs> hey guys. Go, I forgot. Girl, it's all good. I know. I don't have a job. <laughs> no, that's just me. Oh, right the now. echo. You think that's gonna be a problem? Mm, probably, but we're here. We ain't about to move all this equipment. We're shooting in our kitchen where he wanted us to shoot. I don't like this being our backdrop. But let him have his way, real quick. Shut up. <laughs> you ready? Really? Is that right before I got ready to talk? No, no, no. The fact of the matter <laughs> is, is that this is the one that you're supposed to be using. You know this one is yours. I don't leave my microphone. I always point my microphone up with the thing behind it. Yours is pointed straight at it. That's how I knew it wasn't mine. Mine is never pointed straight at it. What are you talking about? That mic was... I never record with it like it. I never record with this thing. Then who changed it? I who changed it? But I'm going to tell you what. You know that yours was always the one that would get all saggy. This one was saggy too. I adjusted it. Last. You want me to get over there? No, we're not switching now. Y'all, I had us in right, the right position. And then he comes in and moves stuff. I didn't touch that mic. Oh, this echo is horrible. This is where you wanted to shoot. I, now I know I'm not, not to. I'm trying to get you to move, but you don't want to move. No, we don't have time. Ready? Shut up and talk. <clears throat> Shut up and talk. Yeah. All right. Exactly. Oh, I can't hit you. Sorry. See, <laughs> yeah, this is what happens. <laughs> sorry. All right. <clears throat> oh, going to be all red. And no, it's not. Cut up. Do that. I'm sorry. You know I'm lying to you. There you go. That's how I like it. What's up, everybody? And welcome back to Is This Going to Cause an Argument? What's happening? I am your host, Angel Lakita Moore Tanksley of That Chick Angel TV. Go ahead and tell them who you are. I am Marcus Tanksley of... Uh, <laughs> you, you that chick angel TV uh, yeah, that chick angel and tank talks, which didn't go up this week because Angel didn't put up, but it, however, is recorded. I did not know he Welcome was done. Welcome back to Is This Going to Cause an Argument? <laughs> I didn't know it was done, but I will take blame for it for it because I could have asked him if it was done, but I was so exhausted from throwing this phenomenal party for that my is husband. no excuse. <laughs> These people. Ask for tank tops. <laughs> they should get tank tops. They should get tank tops. Um, before we jump into the topic of today, I just want to remind you all that you can follow us on social media. First and foremost, my YouTube channel, That Chick Angel TV, which has the visual, the video of this podcast, as well as Twitter. I am Angel the Actress. I'm also that on Instagram. I also have Snapchat, which is, I think, uh, Angel the Actress or That Chick Angel. Um, Facebook, That's Your Angel TV, and I think that's all of them. Whereas my lovely husband. Y'all can email me on the AOL. <laughs> Get him. AOL.com. 76 on. 77. 77 on Black, on Black Planet. Planet. Yeah. I'm Angel Aquino on Black Planet. I can still log into my Black Planet. I'm going to try. So I haven't tried it. I can, I can log into my Black Planet in my MySpace. How about that? Well, I never had a MySpace, so. Oh, it's yeah. so wet. I went from, <laughs> what was it, Black Planet to Facebook. Oh, that was like, like a 20 three, year? Like three years ago, I got on Facebook. <laughs> that was so like a 20 year gap? The only reason I got on Facebook because my phone got stolen. Oh. So I had to retrieve it. That was the best way I could get all my contacts back. But yeah, otherwise, I wouldn't be on there. I'm on, uh, well, apparently, that's kind of going by the wayside is uh, Periscope. Yes, he's on because you can do Facebook Live now, which I feel like you should try. Yeah, I'm not into that. I can hear you a lot better than I can hear me. Because I'm up in the mic and I'm really, you know, enunciating the mic is at my mouth level. Your mic is lower than your mouth. This doesn't seem to help either. It does. Do you Shut need up. to turn yourself up, sir? Uh. See, this is what mic checks are for. This well, is what you oh, do. there we go. Oh, yeah, you real loud now. You make yeah, it right. loud. All right. So, um, also, you can hear this podcast, or if you're hearing it, you already know where you can hear it at, but if you're watching, you can 
listen to this podcast on iTunes and SoundCloud. So I will leave the links of that below if you are watching on YouTube. So for those of you all who follow me on YouTube, you know that my handsome husband just celebrated another birthday. Yeah, 28. <laughs> if that was your age, I'd be like, Recently, oh, even more you. recently, <laughs> 35. He turned 35 years old. Yeah. Now granted, Marcus looks a little more mature than that to some people. Yeah, a lot of people, I look 43, it's fine. He's like, I'm okay with that. You look like a good, nice looking 43 year old. That was good. If you were 43, oh, the type of just problems you would have in life if you looked like this at 43. Well, hopefully I do, you know, I'm with 53 <laughs> at 43. You're like, hopefully it stops right here. <laughs> um, so uh, I planned him a party. It wasn't gonna be a surprise party, but he prefers not to be surprised. So um, we did a, a theme. It yeah. was the most interesting man in the world. The whole uh, Dos Equis. Well, it can't really be a surprise if, <laughs> what? if you ask me my budget. <laughs> well, no, a surprise then. I didn't want him to know what all was going to happen. I'd left one little piece of it as a surprise, and that was there was a cellist that played. Is that what they're called? Mm -hmm, I've been saying it all wrong. What have you been saying? Cello right. list? Yep. <laughs> to everybody. <laughs> they knew what you were talking about, yeah. so that, that's why. Even um, the Asians at work. I know they were like, this idiot. <laughs> 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 yeah, we had a cellist who played uh, hip hop. She started off with Gangsta's Paradise, yeah. which Marcus is like, why did she start off with yeah, that? Yeah, you got to speed this tempo up. And I feel bad because I did not give her, all I said was like, he likes Jay-Z, so if you can play some Jay-Z, and I said only hip-hop from the late 90s, early 2000s, and she played yeah. only hip-hop from Coolio does not land in any of those categories. What do you mean? He, that Gangsta's Paradise? No. That was late 90s. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. We were in high school. I was in high school. Oh, you wasn't in no high school in the late 90s. Yes, yes I was. <laughs> <laughs> you are a jerk. Yes, I was. I graduated in 98. That's late 90s. Um, so, yeah, she uh, she was really nice. It, it really set the atmosphere, and everybody was dressed very nicely. Only a couple people didn't get the memo, but, like, 90% of the people were in. Like, the men looked so dapper. Like, every yeah, single dude. Yeah, everybody looked good, yeah. Everybody looked so beautiful. We showed out. Yeah, it was really, really nice. It was. What was your favorite part of the night? And if you, uh, if, like I said, if you watch on my YouTube channel, you can see bits and pieces of the party. But what was um, your favorite part? Um, I didn't have a favorite part. It just all kind of flowed together. It wasn't like different. Uh, it wasn't different sections of the night. It just started and ended. Um, once I realized that the you know the cellist was there, she was gonna do her thing. But yeah, it was the whole thing was nice. He looked so good. I got him a. Um red jacket that thank god fit because i it didn't come in the regular like sizes of 38 long or whatever and so i had to do either large extra large or xxl and it turned it fit great it could probably the sleeves can be let down some but he looked good in his red smokers jacket he looked really fine like y'all gotta go over there and see or either go on my instagram or you'll see a picture of him. my Stop hair looked it. a mess Stop it. i was mad that i didn't shut it down the way i wanted to but you know when it you play nice. Thank you, but when you know when you plan something and you're doing most of the work, you don't really have time to like focus on yourself. And I really wanted to slay a little harder, but you know, it, the party was nice, so that 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 was my excuse. But um, yeah. so, you went in. Thank it was you. nice. Thank you. Everybody was impressed. I was happy. I was happy with people's reaction. I was more concerned with his reaction. And Marcus is not like, like I said, he's not an over expressive person so like <laughs> it's not true you're not overly expressive i'm excited now exactly <laughs> <laughs> uh he's not overly expressive so i was like just kind of watching it but i could tell how he was interacting with people well he was inebriated but i could tell that he was enjoying the company that um he had for the uh party yeah something about answering the door with a glass of cognac in a, in a crushed velvet blazer <laughs> when people show up to your door. <laughs> it's like red, you know. It's red, yes. And one of the comments on the video that I, I just posted it tonight said, uh, you look like the black Hugh Hefner. <laughs> you, have, you ain't got nothing on this right here. He ain't got nothing on him. Um, so He's the white Marcus Sankler, that's what he is. He's the white Marcus <laughs> 
What is, as you age, as we both age, he's 35, I'm 36. What is your favorite thing? You don't tell them your real age. I'm just joking. Cause I'm, I'm I'm okay with it. I mean, you know what? Sometimes I do get sad knowing that I'm closer to forty than I am thirty, and I'm just like, what is this bull crap? Like, I feel like I'm getting old. I don't feel old, but I'm getting old, and I don't. It's weird. Like, it's something that I can't explain until you experience it. Like, I just wouldn't have thought. Obviously, I want to live <laughs> as long as I can, but I'm just like I'm watching years just slip away from me and I'm like what ha I can still remember high school vividly and to be so far removed from high school blows my mind but what I was going to ask you is what is I guess your favorite part of getting older what's the best part about getting older do you think um you know I have I don't know I I don't have a favorite part of getting older. Okay, well, what do you think is like one of the? I don't pluses? really. I don't feel. I don't feel like I'm getting older until I relax. Mm -hmm. When I sit down and relax and just like you know what, I'm just gonna use this time to kick back, not do nothing, just do something I enjoy, or just sit on the couch and take it all in. That's when I'm like, damn, I'm getting old. Mm -hmm. what about, <laughs> not what about, old, but older. What about the relaxing makes you realize, oh, I'm getting old? Because I just think about it, like, all right, thirty-five. In a oh, career. it's your mind goes there. Yeah, yeah, my mind goes there. Uh -huh. It's just because I finally free my mind up. Uh -huh. You know, think about you know I'm that dude that gets up, probably wakes up the neighbors, starting my truck, leaving out for work in the morning. Mm -hmm. Only thing I ain't doing is leaving out with a cup of coffee and newspaper, like. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, that's when it all sets in. Uh, favorite part about getting? I don't know. I would say just being able to do what I want, but that ended when Marcus was born. You still do a lot of what you Yeah, no, I do. I'm just saying, we both used to just be like, eh, let's go do this today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, let's just go to Six Flags. You know, just that type of thing, like spare, mo spare the moment. Right. Um, but yeah, like realizing whatever I want to do, I can just do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's definitely something that I have to keep reminding myself when getting older is like I, because in my mind, I'm still like, Angel, you're young. I still kind of wait to get permission from people to do certain things and I'm just like wait a minute you're grown like there's no one here to give you permission other than yourself so yeah. that is something that I'm having to constantly remind myself because I feel like it holds me back from doing things that I could have done a long time ago just because I don't know I don't know who I'm waiting to give me permission or who I'm waiting to co-sign but um Definitely, that is one of the perks of getting older. It's yeah. just being like, yeah, no, I'm going to do this. is what I'm deciding to do. Yeah. So I'm no, gonna do I it. feel, uh, I feel like I'm still in my twenties. Yeah. Like until Maybe I. That's what they mean by thirties and the new twenties. Yeah, I definitely feel like until I go do something that I used to do. In my <laughs> then your body. Yeah, like, it's like I can jump that fence and not touch nothing. And, <laughs> Yeah, I might clear it, but landing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is probably the saddest part of getting older yeah. is when your body reminds you. It don't matter where your brain is. Your body's not there. Like, yeah. When I started taking, um, it's been a minute, so I know my body still wouldn't do well. Um, I started taking a jazz class um, at a community college to put my <laughs> school loans into deferment. And my body was like, Hold on, chick. I know you used to do dance and you were a dancer, but you are not no longer. I mean, my body eventually remembered a lot of the stuff, and I was a standout in that class. Granted, we were at community college, so it wasn't like these, but Alvin Ailey dancers I was dancing with. But I still was so shocked at how much, how long it took for my body to be like, oh, yes, you can still do a grand plie. Because if I thought my knees were going to give out every single <laughs> time. And that's just so sad. I don't feel it until I have minimal, like, if I'm just in, like, shorts or something, mm -hmm. especially on a hard, like, a hard surface, like the hardwood floor, <laughs> and you have to get down on all fours to get something, like, that rolled up under something and get back up, that's so I'm like, yep, that's every bit of 30-something right there. Mid-30s, that ain't even early, that's mid to late 30s. Getting up off something hard, like if I had on shoes or something, it'd be no problem just getting mm -hmm. back up. But all that weight mm -hmm. on your knees and your toes <laughs> when you need, you gotta uh, get. Uh, uh. <laughs> so, but no, yeah. dance 
does it for me every time because when I see like younger people dancing and then I do the same dance and I still look like somebody <laughs> when I yeah. do it, I'm like, I remember when I used to look like, because when we got married in our 20s, I, I was that chick. Like I could still do the moves and be like, yeah, I'm older than these teenagers doing it, but I still looked really good doing it. Now it's laughable. <laughs> <laughs> when I do stuff. I mean, it might be the extra weight too. Yeah, I mean, you try. I've been two step for the past 15 years. You have. You I was have. like, you know what? I ain't not. Because I'm, I'm six. I'm, well, I was six five. I'm six four. <laughs> so in, anytime I do any type of dance, it's like, unless a whole group of people's doing the same thing, it's like, <laughs> what's he doing? He's doing it right, but he's too long to be doing that. I remember when he was trying to learn the Dougie, and it just wasn't, it wasn't right. And I was just like, and he's so big, so it's like, unless you're about to like be one of them big dudes that's just like killing him. Yeah, robot and stuff. Yeah, yeah. nah, it's ain't just big. like mm -hmm. straight up two step. Mm -hmm. He's like, Calm don't nobody man. two step like me. <laughs> yeah, he goes straight up into two yeah, steps. Yeah. So smooth, so smooth. So okay, so looking back on your life, now that you're in your mid thirties, what's one of the things you wish you would have done in your twenties? Then now looking back on it, you're just like, why did you, I do that? You always hear people say, had I had I known yeah. then what I know now. <laughs> right, right. I mean, really. No, uh, I definitely would have started, figured out, well, the little company I got going now, I definitely, I, that wasn't on my mind at all. Mm -hmm. But had it crossed, I would have been thinking about entrepreneurship back then, mm -hmm. a long time ago, thinking about what I could do, realizing I could do anything I wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, Instruments. Yeah. I would have definitely started playing an instrument had it crossed my mind. I actually did cross my mind. My parents. <laughs> Mike is blamed so much of his uh, life no. <laughs> regrets on his parents. It is sad. Yeah, it is. I have to tell him, stop blaming. Because I bring it up right to their face. Like, he you does. know what? He makes them You want to know so what bad. happened? <laughs> and where you could have been had you supported me? <laughs> I'll be like, leave them alone. They did the best they could with they knew how to do. So I'm hoping that nah. little Marcus don't turn around and look at us when he's. He will. Everybody does. <laughs> You're like, you know what, woman? I wish I would have lived more like a single person when I was not married. Yeah. Meaning, not like, you know, going out on more dates or anything, because that really wasn't my thing. I wasn't a dating type of girl, but there, I didn't realize the real freedom that I had. Like, I wish I would have been traveling more. I wish I would have just really taken the time to... Um, utilize all of my freedom because yeah. now, not to say I'm in bondage, but now I do have oh, other you people. in bondage. <laughs> Shut up before I choke you. Oh, sit really. down. <laughs> <laughs> but now that I have a husband, I have a mortgage, I have three kids, possibly a fourth on the way in a year. So, stop saying that. <laughs> yeah, and they're gonna, gonna be like, Y'all go have it. No, we don't know. We don't know. She don't know. You don't know either. Oh, I know. Your things are still swimming. All right. Go to his bathroom, take his razor, and <laughs> do something regrettable. And look, make them all come out fast. Yeah. <laughs> Don't come in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, that's what I really wish. I was so marriage minded that I didn't really give like the focus I could have to some of my hobbies, my career and other things of that nature so yeah i don't the only thing i, re, I wish i was exposed to more because i definitely would have done all of that stuff like you was a, i think you was exposed to it you would just focus on other things i don't know i don't know like what do you mean like what what parts of that i was exposed to like you like you moved to california you your mom was traveling like you already had that independent yeah. like the world is my oyster I kind of sort Same of. Thing. I didn't the have it. United until, States was my oyster, at least. Yeah, well, yeah. See, I didn't have that. It. it was like Kentucky. <laughs> now I realize, God dang, I could have been exposed to so much more. Yeah, yeah. No, that was, that's what I mean by like traveling. Yeah. Because, yeah, I definitely didn't feel like I was tied to any place. I never felt like, oh, Angel, you have to stay in Kentucky. That wasn't. You know, the only thing that would have made me stay in Kentucky was a, a dude. And there was no dude that was pulling on me like that. And even you, when you did start pulling on me, I realized, oh, no, he's willing to come out here. This could really work. But um, I wish, like, 
I, I think I've mentioned this on the podcast before. Like, I wish I would have thought to go ahead and do a tour, a musical tour, when I was young and single. Like, I'm not going to do that now. Like, that just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Um, but, like, I look at my girlfriend, Rebecca Covington, who was in the uh, Broadway musical Motown. She did a European tour of, um, not Ragtime, but another, like, a black musical. And I'm like, wow, you got to see a whole nother part of the the world yeah. and got paid yeah. to be there. Like, why wasn't I in that mind frame to do that? I mean, she's married now, happily married. So she got to kind of, um, she got to kind of do both, you know, focus yeah. on her career and do all that stuff. And then... And they both act, so they both travel and stuff too. So they still... Yeah. On the road a lot. Then she she's thinking about not to put a business out there, but I know she's thinking about when the day comes when she has kids and she knows that part is gonna have to stop. So she's trying to figure out what she's gonna do then. But yeah, it's I was already in that mind frame without having those actual responsibilities and I wish I I was always overly responsible and not in the ways that I should have been, I think. In my twenties. Yeah. yeah. I would. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 no. I def yeah, I do wish, I think that's uh, why we, um, sorry for these like fragmented thoughts. I think that's one reason why we made a good pair is because I feel like one of the things that I brought to the table to you was being able to expose you to some things that being that your parents grew up and well, at least your mom grew up in the same place, still goes to the exact same church that she grew up in. So all that famili familiarity, however you say it, I'm, I'm close yeah, to saying it right. Yeah, you close, but you <laughs> messed up my thoughts, so now I can't even say it. Go sorry, ahead. but exposing you to the world outside of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, And not to say that some other chick couldn't do that, but I feel like that was one of the things that made us a good pair was it was just like, oh, well, you know what, come where I am. And it just opened a whole new world of, like you said, possibilities are endless, which is a world that you could have known at a younger age. It just, yeah. there was nobody there to present it to you. You know? Mm-hmm. But what was your thought? Nothing. I, so so I, you the reason for everything. I'll just play. No, I'm not saying nah. that. Uh, like that was a good pairing for us. Definitely. And you brought the dream that I always wanted, which was, I want a husband that is family oriented, that loves the lord like i got all that stuff where i don't know if i would have gotten that with someone in my field because <laughs> they be wilding out out here and they don't be straight so that's also a problem <laughs> so every time you do a pirouette on stage <laughs> repeatedly what no they're straight well, i know there's plenty we know them yes yes but, but it's few and far between <laughs> it, it, you gotta really decipher yeah. like hmm so no, I think I feel like that that was a you came you were the thing that I had been looking Is for. Is it difficult to be light on your feet and straight like that? <laughs> You're so silly. No, I don't think so. I just don't think that straight boys are um not I wanna say pushed towards that, but like they are people don't when you deal with especially straight black men, people usually go to sports or maybe like um engineering like mechanical no, science no. that's a legitimate question i ain't trying to take the I mean, they don't go to dance like they honestly yeah. don't really go to dance so boys who are considered maybe um effeminate or might be possibly gay they're like oh yeah you can do the arts going over there because sports uh, a lot of guys like i know you know running backs and wide receivers and stuff a lot of them will take you know dance yeah. and all of that to get light on their feet and so it's just kind of a, where does that disconnect? You know, they doing it after the fact, after they already, you know, running there, these three, three and 400 pound guys, they gotta be, <laughs> learn how to be limber and graceful. Yeah, it's just, you know, our homophobic world of thinking certain things are for straight guys and certain things are for gay males. So I think that's the reason why a lot of times in. Well, yes, yeah, cause that ain't true. There's a lot of athletes. That are, yeah, that, that are, are gay. That are gay. Yeah. And there are a lot of dancers who are straight. I just think because of especially right. we are very way off topic. I know, but you the one who brought it brought it that way. You took it there, so don't try right. to I snatch asked you it. One question, and then you kept talking about it. Did you back not? to you getting old? Did you not? Oh, Did let I me just it? finish my thought, and then we'll get back to the topic. Long. Okay. 
All I was gonna say is that in our misogynistic society, they put women in the category, straight men in the category, and gay men in the category, and a lot of times those categories make no sense. You're as far as getting older though. Nasty woman. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> You're such a nasty woman. <laughs> Um, now one thing I would not want to ever experience again, which makes me grateful for my age, is, um, stupidity. Ah, uh, yeah. We said it at the same time. Stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> stupidity. I feel like that is one of the blessings with getting older, is if you're living life right, you get smarter. And I would never want to go back to the stupidity that I had before. Like, I made some really really dumb mistakes that could have cost me so much more than what they did praise the lord um that i would never make now as a 36 year old woman it's just not even worth it elaborate <laughs> <laughs> elaborate um i just nah. yeah i just yeah. made dumb choices i did i made everybody some, does i mean i mean that's a given and like even okay so this wasn't so much a dumb choice but i look back at it and i cringe I found, as we were moving into this new house, notes I wrote this man when we were dating. I was mortified at what I had been <laughs> mailing she him through. I would like, I put... <laughs> Her nose was wide open. <laughs> I put everything out there on the line. Like, everything. Like, I just want to... I love you and I want to treat you right. And bless. It was just... I was laughing, showing my boy's look. I was just playing. He did not do that. I, didn't. I would have been I would be mortified. I'd be ready to just vomit right here. But um granted I meant those things when I wrote them. They were not necessary for me to share with him. I don't know why I gave you that much. It was not necessary. I could have gotten you without all that. You're so sprung, it's okay. <laughs> he must have been sprung too for him to stay around because I would have been like, look at this crazy girl. Watch. <laughs> No, I was, but at the same time, I was like, eh, she got a little bit to offer. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> but those are one, that's one of the, like, I told Marcus, I said, if we do have a daughter, I'm going to show her this foolishness and be like, don't you ever. Yeah, she going to know anyway. What you mean she going to know? Because she your daughter? Yeah. Whatever. A girl is Dude's a girl. This feeling's going to be hurt. A girl is a girl, and if she's got my DNA in her, she's going to be thinking the same stupid stuff <laughs> I was thinking. Yeah. She would know different. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because I'm going to tell her. No game. I would tell. Oh, so you saying I didn't know the game you were running on me? You know I love it. Hey, you were sending notes with me. Hey, hey, <laughs> but I got, I got what I wanted. Then. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Look, that's what it's about. <laughs> it's about getting what you want. Yeah. So I mean, I might have been dumb. I still, I still hit the finish line, and that's what it was all about. It would only be real stupid. If I did all that, <laughs> we did end up together. But uh, yeah, no, like that, I feel like was dumb. What's one of the stupid things? Once, you know, I did a lot. I know. <laughs> I know. I did typical ignorant boy stuff. Like what? I'm talking about in your twenties. Excuse me. Twenties. Mm-hmm. Not Let your me teenage see. years. No, oh, your teenage years. This is just a goddamn wreck. <laughs> Uh, I, I've never been arrested. I know, so. I was about to say, I was about to say, you know, However, surprise, I've done you? quite a bit to where I should have, should have, have and could have gotten arrested, definitely. Um, Give them a specific, I think. I can't think of no real specific. Mm -hmm. I don't know, drinking and driving, like, it's... Oh, <laughs> this is horrible. Yeah, done it a lot in my 20s. <laughs> Not drunk, well, yeah, drunk is drunk. I'm like, yeah, I'm buzzing, I'm good. I'm good. Now it's like, it's a, that's a maturity thing. It's like, oh, if I know I'll be drinking, I don't drive there. Oh, well, that's because also Uber has made Well, not even out. before that. It's like, you drive. <laughs> <laughs> and you drive it. And you drive the car. But uh, I don't know. It's a lot. I can't even. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. I I don't quit jobs. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Just I'm done with y'all. Yeah. Yeah, no. I, I definitely... I would never want to go back to the stupidity. That's the biggest thing. I just praise God for wisdom and for allowing me to live long enough to be able to, to look back and be like, oh, 
Thank you, Jesus, for protecting me from that dumb, the consequence to that dumb decision that I made. So um, in the comments below, guys, let us know what you feel like is the best thing about you getting older and or the, the thing that you would never want to relive from your younger years. Like, and I'm not talking about like bullying. I'm talking about your own actions. Like what, or maybe one of you all was a bully. You know, one of our oh, friends was a bully. I know, of course. <laughs> So leave that in the comments below if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're not, tweet us. Tweet us what that answer is with the hashtag ITGTCAA. So this is week number three that we've got the podcast up. Now granted, I'm getting the podcast up on like Thursdays instead of Wednesdays, but you'll get it midweek. Um, hopefully it'll be on Wednesday this time. It was just we were getting ready for that party and uh, that was at the time getting the house clean was more important to me, but... Now that that's done, I can get this, oh, oh, I can get this podcast done. So my husband is rushing me as if yeah. I don't know what time it is. I know what's up. You got anything to say to the family? Yeah, I do. I'm glad y'all tuned in. Hurry up before I just take his, uh, his headphones off walk away. <laughs> <laughs> just walk away. Shut up. All right, guys. Sorry about the technical difficulties oh, yeah. we had yes. last week. And as well, yeah, sorry about that. I know we have a horrible echo. I oh, would have yeah, a whole yeah, echo, yeah, and then you can probably hear the Mr. Kai who did not want to go to sleep yelling through two doors into yeah, his and across trip. the other, yeah. Yeah. Across the rest of the house. No, all right, guys. We will talk to you all next week. Make sure you leave um, your subtopic suggestions in the comments or tweet us those as well. You guys be blessed, and we'll talk to you next week. Yeah, have a good one. Bye. Bye. Okay, guys, we did it. I'm actually sleeping. Yeah, yeah we should have did this on Sunday, but he didn't want to do it. So that's what happens. So I'm going to save this file. So that both we have... up. Which yeah. means both up. I don't know how to say. <laughs> you got no sense. I can't believe we're in season two of Is This Got a Cause and I Came In. Um, well, anyways, guys. I hope you all are having a wonderful Monday or whatever day you all. No, no, no. A wonderful Wednesday. It's uh, Monday. Thursday. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. We look forward to it. I gotta get in the bed. Y'all yeah, have a good one. That's what he's saying. You about to try to catch on me, y'all. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> you come here before I go to sleep, then I only crack. Oh, don't fall. Look at my butt, huh? It's cute, though. Smack it up, flip it, rub it down. Turn off the, the camera. <laughs>